Hey guys, it's Crewman Tech and Mining here, and I just got a full rig of BC 250s in. Now, listen, I could have bought this for like 500 bucks plus shipping, so like 600 bucks a few months ago, but I mistakenly didn't realize that they could CPU. To me, it was just a bunch of pain in the rear uh 5700s that couldn't cpu mine and then i realized they could and i feel like i missed the boat and i saw them for pretty cheap on ebay for 700 bucks shipped and i was like i should try this and guys here's me unboxing them and i think these are brand new like i literally sorry about the box i literally think this is brand new so i'm going to Film me unboxing it. Uh, it's from AS, AS Rock, and I, I heard from some people that these things were bought really late in the bull run, uh, the last bull run, and they were basically rendered unprofitable the day they got in, and they didn't even hook them up. So here we go. Uh, essentially, each one of them is a badly binned PS5. So I'm gonna. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah, this thing would have definitely cost a lot to ship. So thankfully I didn't miss the boat too badly. Let me see if I can get this out. So remember guys, these are basically 12 PS uh, fives that failed their bin test. So, you know, were these a gamble to buy for mining? Absolutely they were, but like this thing is brand new. Never opened. Uh, <clears throat> I'm very interested to see what they look like. And I'm gonna take them out and look at them. They've got Delta fans, which means they're, oh no, these are Cooler Master fans. I thought they were Deltas. Uh, these are <laughs> these are brand new and it is hilarious. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming, like I said, when these guys bought these, these were dead on arrival as far as mining goes. I'm gonna take one out. Now, I'm gonna be doing a lot of testing on these. I think they're gonna be great for content. And honestly, at the price I paid, there's zero risk for me. I will link these down below. Uh, I don't even know how to take these out, honestly. Um, I might have to, I might have to do a video or something, uh, or look at a video. I don't. <clears throat> I actually can't seem to get this one out. Let me, let me screw this one back in and try another one. I'm basically flying blind on these things. Um, I know they're all stored somehow let me how can i get these out there's a control board down here which you can't see uh you can see them all 12 right here and it's cool because they all have four usb ports an hdmi port or no uh a vga port not a vga a um why can't i i can't think the um 1440p for port and I, I just, it's not coming to memory. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it on the, um, I'll put it, I'll edit it down below. It's got uh, Ethernet port. So this is basically a good to go PlayStation. Display port. It's got a display port. God, that was embarrassing. This is my first real, like, op unboxing video. Uh, hey, it's got an, uh, it's got an M.2 slot, which is good. Um, all right. So you just slide them out. Okay. So here's what it is. So there is a power connector in here and you just slide them out. Let me see. Let me see if I can show you. Do you guys see right down there? I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's a power connector right there. I, I have this on a tripod. So let's take a look. So you got a, you got an M.2, which is really good. Uh, it's got a Chemos. I'm going to try to get into the BIOS. I was told it is powered by one six pin. Um, so it looks like you use these power connectors to power them into the motherboard. Otherwise, you can use an eight pin. It's not a six pin. It's an eight pin. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to slap two fans on this. I'm going to flash SteamOS on one of these drives, and then I'm going to mess around with it. But I'm also going to flash HiveOS on a drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to overclock um, and undervolt these things. And I want to see how well they do on mining. So I don't, <laughs> I have a 48 port switch that um, my buddy who owns a repair shop kindly sold me for $20. And I'm going to put that 
into my shed. And once I re-network the shed, I'm going to maybe see if he has 12 uh, eight, uh, Ethernet cables because I really don't want to cut 12 of these things. I might, though. <sighs> I, I don't know. But for now, I'm going to take one out and I'm going to run a bunch of tests on one of them. So that is the plan right now. But anyway, you can see it's brand new. Like, it's never been used. There is no dust. Uh, there are 12 of them. So it's essentially 12 3600Xs and 12 5700s or 5700XTs. I'm not sure. I paid 740 all in for all of them. So you know what? I don't think I can really lose on this gamble. I know people that have a bunch of these and I could have paid less a while ago, but I didn't realize they had uh, CPUs on them. I mean, I did realize it, but I never put two to two together that you can mine on them. So it's essentially is like a CPU mining farm and a GPU mining farm. And it's pretty condensed. It's very small. I'm definitely going to be able to put that into the one slot. It is less than seven inches thick. So I'm going to be able to put it into the one drawer that I have space on uh, one of my shelves in the shed. So it'll fit just fine. And I have a PDU coming, took it in. Um, these are both uh, 1200 watt power supplies. Um, are these both 1200 watt? Yeah, I think they're 1200 watt. I'm actually gonna, uh, can you remove them? Yeah, you can remove them. There, I just put, took it out. It's, let's just double check. They're platinum rated. Um, it is, they work on 240 volt, which is good. So these are 1200 watts. I don't, I don't know how they could, yeah, they're 1200 watts. So I guess the question is how much power do these things take up CPU and GPU mining? Because I don't, you obviously want to stay within the 80% rule or maybe you have to add more of them. Um, let's look at this slot. It doesn't really look like there's a spot for more of them. I'm going to take this power supply out again. Um, so this one just goes right back in. There is a connector over here for the two, for the first two, uh, just like any other server power supply and it's in, but there's, you can't add any more. So I'm interested to see how much power one of these actually takes. And then you're going to have to add in all the power for the fans, which is probably another like 100 watts. So this will be really interesting. And we're going to deploy the BC250s. The plan is to put them right in this rack which means I have to raise this one up, which means I've got to unplug all of these. I've got some plans for the CPU mining rigs anyway, so I'm gonna get them out of here so I can hopefully put a second server case here. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna do that right now and I'll show you what it looks like. Now I gotta turn them all on. Actually, I'm gonna probably turn them all off till I get them all set up. Uh, but I have it set so where it exhausts air the other way, so it pulls in air this way, so it's easier to manage. 
Um, took a lot of work. I don't know if you can see all of that, but essentially I networked all 11 of these wires up here and it took almost this entire switch. So it's definitely a lot of work to get these in, but on the flip side, I can put another rig on here if I need to, and I can definitely put another server case here so I was better able to make room with my, um, I was better able to make use of my shelves. Uh, I have three CPU rigs down. They will be going back up soon as part of another video. This whole thing was just me getting this up. This is a lot of work to get up, I'm gonna be honest with you. It was quite the challenge. Um, I'll do more in my review video, but I just wanted to show you the arduous process of getting this thing set up. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew Man out.